Okay, everything is set up, everything is good to go. Hey, what up, Maestro? Damn, you're here before I'm even ready, bro. How are you doing this evening? Yes. Oh, that doesn't seem good. You okay? Nervous for work tomorrow, first ship at new place. Nah, brother, you got this. You've got this, I know you got this. Nervous is good. Nervous means you're excited. But, no, seriously, dude, I'm gonna give you... I'm going to send you all the luck that I can and all the wishes that I possibly can. I hope your first day tomorrow actually goes well. I know you're going to own it, so. Um, we can do the normal introductions. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the stream. I hope you find yourselves welcome. Yes, sir. Uh, then get comfortable. Grab some popcorn. Snack. We're going to be here for about three, four hours. Um, we are picking up, picking up where we left off last night. So, last night, after dying many, 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 many times, I decided to fuck it and I switched over to a different build just to feel what it's like to have power again but tonight we're actually going to try and progress with the um, power stuff and build a little bit further hopefully we can get to the point where we're not dying every 10 seconds because right now my ass is squishy as fuck um, for those of you that don't know all of my past live streams do get uploaded to my youtube channel so go and show some love and support over there as well and then bring the attention back to this channel if you've got friends family or social media help spread the word get it out there it really would mean a lot to me and i would appreciate it but let's not dawdle on any of that any further and let's actually get into it. So, uh, what was I doing? Oh, yeah. Um, just think about that. Selling off all the shit that I had. What is it, Ek? Go where you are needed. Actually, remember where I ended off. Uh, oh, it was the harvest. I needed to do the three boss fights. I think that is one of the reasons why I was a little skeptical about this. Is because I know I knew how to do the, the three boss fights. And then the main fight to be able to move on to Act 6. And I'm not looking forward to that specifically with how squish I am. I've only got 666 health. And... I got your new le hoop. Le hoop? Le, 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 how, what is that? Before we oh, no, switch over to CI. Switch over to CI. Little piece of ring. Oh. Oh, that one. Oh, very, very nice. Thank you very much, good sir. Looking forward to that. At what point do we actually make that switch? Is that level 68 or what?
after the campaign. Fuck. I was hoping it was something that could actually help me and benefit me throughout the campaign. Okay, let's see how, how many times I'm gonna die, yeah? Just need a moment to catch up. Is there something we can do about this? Because right now I'm struggling. Like I am dying in two, three hits max. There has to be something that I can either respec some points, get rid of some shit, and focus on it later on. Because right now I can take two, three hits and I'm fucked. Yeah, the problem is, if I have a look at the skill tree, like, there's not exactly a lot of life nodes that I'm supposed to be picking up. I have to kill this thing. I know that the consensus is ignore the yellows, but I have to because it's spawning shit the whole time. Yeah, there are some, but there's some that I'm only gonna reach, like, into levels from now. I can already tell you how this fight's gonna go. Let's see. A body to kill for. the only option I've got I'm just not one not doing enough damage and two I'm squishy I'm very fucking squishy hits max and I'm down. Oh, this guy's gonna fuck my shit up. Oh, 
Oh my god, that was one hit. You're not wearing anything different to what I normally use while leveling, and I never feel that squishy. I don't get it. When you make your way through the tree, how do you prioritize your your nodes? Do you have a specific route that you take going up the tree, or mm, or do you just grab everything underneath and just grab everything as you move your way up? Because I think my biggest concern is that I hit. Let's do this. I hit everything here at the bottom. All of these nodes. Hell, I've even got the uh, life leech and all that kind of stuff. I hit everything, and then I've been moving up the up the tree slowly. But I feel like there was maybe some focuses that I got wrong. I also don't have the large jewel for that socket. Actually, at this point, I'm thinking I need to potentially, like, refund all of these, these void barriers, or refund something. I need to refund something so that I can get life, because I'm way too squishy. Maybe come back for it. Maybe things like charisma, reservation, efficiency, and maybe these three. Come back to charisma later on. Because right now I'm getting clapped and there ain't much I can do about it. You know what, I'm just going to do this. Now it's potentially a very bad thing. Good evening, JJ. Welcome. Okay, so that's with me 813. Let's see how that's worked. Dying is going horribly. Still struggling the same as we did last night. I think since the stream started, I have died three times. Oh, for fuck's sake, move, you slow piece of shit. is completely shut down. And I'm slow as all. Oh. oh, come on, you fat fuck. Move. I can't move. I can't move. Up. Let's go back inside the fight. Let's try this again.
Like I barely get through his shield before I have to run for cover. I'm going to burn through basically all my scores just trying to keep my um, my Estes is full. Estes is my flasks. down one to go and arguably the worst one is is left just need a moment Chick's gonna fuck me up badly. But it's okay. Yeah, that actually went a lot better than what I fucking thought. For someone so obsessed with looks, that wasn't a pretty death. Oh, it's always already identified my ass is just a lot to use it. Okay. Gee, you see, that's just it, JJ. Like, I did a fuck ton of running last night. I ran everywhere. For my life mostly, but <laughs> still ended up dying a lot. Uh, I'm gonna be smart about this. I'm gonna go there. And then I'm gonna come back to it. Just to make sure my Estes is. I keep referring to Estes. I don't know why I'm thinking Dark Souls. This is gonna be fun. Sorry, I'm just focusing a lot harder than what I normally do. So I'm a little bit quieter than usual.
I'm just gonna hold him for the bubble. Exactly. <laughs> I can always just be like, nah, fuck it, I'm not gonna focus, and then just. Oh, shut up, party. Okay, part one, done. Let's see if we can deal with part two. Let us see if you truly understand what it means to be Nightmare. Then it kind of in a good spot, there we go. Things are going a lot better. Sorry, I'm being very quiet. I'm trying to not die. Ten percent, ten percent. Where the fuck is the ten percent? There we go. That was actually nerve wracking. That was actually like, what the fuck? Wasn't so bad. Just God, that took forever. They definitely have to be a lot more careful as to what the hell you're doing. I'm just taking a whole bunch of this shit so I can sell it. progress things are looking better I'm gonna keep those two I'll just keep one at least I'll keep the normal one okay so working on living skill gems for seismic trap character that takes forever go where you are needed seismic trap that's a build I've never actually run that much is a mine or trap build I've seen it, and I think I've seen one or two builds for it, but it's something I've never been like, okay, this is something I want to try. I'm looking to doing it. I thought you were going to weave a few bits. There's a lot of builds actually now thinking about it that I haven't done that I've been interested in. One of the things we spoke about in the past was the Righteous Firebolt. It took a it's something I want to try, but at the same time, it's something I'm a little bit skeptical of, simply because you said that it's kind of boring, because what? you just run Is everywhere. Damage Haven't tried a trap build. It feels awkward to play, if I'm honest, with the delay on damage. Yeah, I don't like a delay on damage. I want something that if I press the button, it needs to die, because my stupidity, I'm not going to be able to process the fact that I need to press the button, wait a second, and then it only dies. Just button mash. 
<laughs> exactly. You just want to be able to spam the button as much as you possibly just hope everything dies. So, JJ, my show's currently busy playing POE. What you up to? Are you just be sitting back and enjoying the stream, or are you actually busy playing something in the meantime as well? Still. The gate. I don't actually need these skills, I just grabbed it because. Go where you are needed. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, no, I'm so glad it's Wednesday. Like, this week has been ridiculously long. Uh, Who's playing? Uh, Premier League or is it a different league that you're watching at the moment? The only reason why I'm asking that is because I know I've got a notification that Liverpool's playing. Half the day up at the ladder, King of Banks are quite tight, I can imagine. Yeah, laborious work is it's not for the faint of heart, that's for sure. Don't die for fuck's sakes. I fucking hate it when that happens. I press baseball for it to frost pink out of there and then it's just like, nah. I'm not gonna do that today. Okay, now that I've actually got the life and the life ain't looking too horrible. Start thinking about what on this tree is actually gonna give me damage. Because I need to start killing shit faster. I can't be flopping around. Plus one to maximum power charge, that's going to be a big boost. This is my only death perception, so it's accurate, accu accuracy rating. We're not going to be going into this tree at all. Mark and pray might be nice for the single target damage. Praying up towards this. Cannot recover energy shield or bubble vase rating. I think for now we're gonna work towards this. Yeah, that way marked enemies die a little bit faster. And then after that we'll work towards maximum power charges. Just need a moment to catch my breath. That felt a bit better.
Come on, you fat fuck, move. There's progress. There's progress. We're looking better than what we were last night. Like, Maestro, if you saw what it was like last night, like, yeah, it was horrible. JJ was laughing at me. It was that bad. chapel that you're going for is it focusing on elemental damage or is it is it like crit or fire or something like that or elemental being obviously that but it's chaos conversion thing oh shit okay Chaos conversion on a chat bolt. That could be interesting. Single target damage on the um, on the sniper's mark now feels like it's doing quite a bit better. That 20% increase that I got was decent. So I think that was the right way to go. So it's a chaos conversion thing. It's a physical trap and then I convert all physical to chaos. That could be nice. Definitely. Well, the next area is going to be basically a very chilled area. Sniper's mock upgrade was a massive benefit. Wait, I've just realized something. I'm missing a skill gem. Good sir, I am missing a skill gem. I am missing... Mark on hit. Motor call, I've got sniper's mock. I do not have mock on hit.
can fuck around the lap, you know. I actually need to get the exit. So, tomorrow night we're going to switch it up a little bit. Uh, tomorrow night we're not going to be streaming Path of Exile. Tomorrow night I was thinking I'll put it up to you guys. One of two things. Either hypercharged. That actually covers the entire fucking map almost. I see what you mean by the damage is a bit delayed. They take an initial hit, and then it slowly converts over to chaos. Okay. You need to send me the build for that. You better link me the build for that, because that looks like it could be a lot of fucking fun. Uh, nope, we're gonna keep that. Sell that, sell that, sell that, sell that, sell that, sell that. Oh, so uh, touching base on what I said, I think tomorrow night we're not gonna be streaming Path of Exile tonight. Tomorrow night we're gonna either do one of two. We're gonna either go with some more Deep Rock Galactic or we're gonna go with Hypercharged. Or, if you have a suggestion, I can always go on for that as well. But what would you guys like to see tomorrow? Got a phone, don't you? In stream, no, I'm joking. I can imagine. Unlike JJ, anything specific you'd like to see? I'm not surprised. Some now where was I? <laughs> I said tomorrow night I'm not going to actually be streaming Path of Exile so I'm taking suggestions I've got I have that uh, a hypercharged, the one that I told you about where you are a small little super soldier, a little toy, or I have got Deep Rock Galactic, or if there is a specific game that you'd like me to play, I will always have a look at what the price of it is and then take it from there. benefit if I actually end up killing a whole bunch of stuff in the process as well. The toy story looking warrior thingy, that one. Okay, deal. But tomorrow night we'll do another hypercharged video. Take 
That's a bit full of chromatics. I actually think you're gonna like it. It's a game that there was a lot of buzz around it when it came out. And then I think bigger beta titles released about the same time and it just it just fell off the map. Inspire inspiration charges. Just need a moment to catch my uh, forgot about that. Yeah, inspiration. Uh, one of these. Which one is inspiration? Oh, the inspiration support. 27% reduce, reduced mana charges. I've actually got a question, something that I'm curious about. The quality of the stream. Are you guys seeing it in the full like 1080p HD quality, like almost 2K resolution that it's supposed to be, or are you experiencing a little bit of it? No, no. This is looking a bit blurry and shit. Because I physically, there's no way in the settings for me to make it look any prettier. Nice. One of the benefits that I've got that actually like helped make the decision for me to be able to stream is that in the past, um, especially in South Africa when I was growing up, we didn't exactly have great internet. Great internet wasn't that thing, so it never really had the opportunity. Then it came to the Netherlands and the place where I currently live. Yeah, I've got a one gig line, so it runs like a comfortable uh, 900 download and like a 600 700 upload. government kept both download and upload these bollocks where are you fucking serious no that can't be a thing do they really fuck you guys that badly on the internet like i thought uk along with like america and that kind of stuff would have like the best internet
but this is gonna end badly. Nope, 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 I'm not doing that shit. So in the UK that is a thing. So I'm all about TV adverts for broadcast packages when they give facts and stuff. Not like thirty percent coverage applies. It's so annoying. What the fuck? Like that's bullshit. I should I can remember the day that the internet was installed yet and I did a quick little speed test. I was like well fuck me sideways. Hold on, it's over. So, I'm busy running a speed test right now, right? And this speed test is running while I am live streaming. That's what I got. <laughs> That's what I got while I'm live streaming. By the sounds of it, no, that's not something it sounds like I want to know. <laughs> but do tell me, I'm really curious to know how shit that actually is. The sentence is gonna be horrible when a person refers to the internet. It's good at the moment. Like it's internet. It's not supposed to have an attitude. It's not supposed to have a, like a, a mood. It's either supposed to be there or it's not. <laughs> Fascinates the hell out of me. Like, you would think a country like the UK, being first world and so progressive on all of the things, that would be something that's almost a given. While streaming on four devices. Why are you streaming on four devices, good sir? Oh, wait, or is that you and the missus, etc.? Or the five viewers I got in you, all four of them, like four of them, you. <laughs> Watching and their kids are both on YouTube. Oh, okay, fair enough. You know what? With four devices, all these using the internet at the moment, and you're still getting those speeds. That's not horrible. I mean, if that's what you've still got left while everything is taking place, I mean, that person can't complain about that. I'm going completely the wrong way. You're paying for the lowest speed available. Yeah, that's that's somewhere where I was like, you know what? I play quite a lot of games. The missus likes to play a lot of games online as well, but she mostly plays like uh, PlayStation. So I was like, okay, 
am I going to struggle with a situation where the knights that I want to play, she gets throttled, the knights that she wants to play, I get throttled, etc, etc. It's like, I decided, fuck it. And I think I went for, not the top package, but like the second top package. I mean, it's still only like 60 euros per month, so I mean, it's not exactly expensive. Yeah, she hates Piri. She can't stand it. It's it's too much for her. She's currently playing Tekken 8. Sorry, I was not paying attention there. Yeah, she's currently playing Tekken 8. She actually is not doing too bad. She started getting into her first ranked matches. She ain't doing bad, so not to in that god. Yeah, she does not like games where you have to apply so much thinking. Just need a moment to my You see, like, I've wanted to get the messes into, like, PC gaming for quite a while, but she says she'd rather sit down and play on the PlayStation or something like that. It's comfortable for her. She's, and you know what? At the end of the day, it doesn't bug me. Most guys can't even get their partners to, to play anything. So, her playing PlayStation, at least, is a fucking win for me. Like, there's so many nights where I'm like, am I going to feel guilty for playing? Am I going to feel guilty for going upstairs and, like, not really spending time with her? And then, like, two seconds later, she's like, okay, you fuck off. I want to play. Okay. Makes my, makes my life a lot easier. Yes, they were fun. I liked... I liked things like Forza and Formula 1 and games that didn't require a lot of fine control. Uh, I played Call of Duty and that kind of shit, but... I don't know. The kind of games that I enjoy playing, unfortunately, require a little bit more fine control. And I don't like the, the fact that you lack that on PlayStation or console, console at all. I mean, hell, aim assist exists for a reason. Like, I played it when I was younger, but that's because I wasn't used to anything better, if we can put it like that. But also now, like, no. If I get into any kind of first-person shooter now, it's definitely not going to be on console. You're right about the Switch. So, I've got a Switch as well. Um, I specifically got it for Pokemon. It's the reality. You're either getting a Switch for either Pokemon or Zelda. <laughs> but um, the only thing I don't like is just how quickly you burn through a battery. And after a while, it actually becomes uncomfortable. Like, there's no comfortable way to sit for a long time. Unless you've obviously got a doctor and it's playing on the on the, um, your main like, TV screen, for example. But... Exactly the same. I got it for Pokemon Sword and Shield. I ended up going sh um, Sword instead of Shield, but I got it for the exact same reason. Then uh, Pokemon Arceus came out. Got Arceus for it. Um, I saw the absolute fail that was Scarlet. So I was like, nope. Just 
like the weapon made me play it. <laughs> you see, I originally wanted a um, a switch for two reasons. One, because I wanted sword and shield. Two, because I watched at that point I watched quite a couple of videos on the Pokemon Sword and Shield Nuzlocke, and it looked like so much fun that I wanted to do a, a Nuzlocke just to find out that it was only specific um, fucking models that could be hacked in order for you to be able to do a Nuzlocke and I was like well that is just bullshit so I never even got to do that RCS for me was amazing because it it's the first time it felt like Pokemon went in a new direction when it came to a Pokemon game like, Sword and Shield already did something new, but Arceus went an entirely new direction with it. And then they fucked it all in Violet Scarlet. Imagine selling all of your consoles, me looking at my Xbox, I haven't turned on in over a year. <laughs> Funnily enough, like, I've never been a massive console fan, but somehow in my life I have owned every single PlayStation, from 1 to 5. Either directly or indirectly, like through my wife. Like, for example, when we moved to the Netherlands, I left my PlayStation 4 in South Africa. I wasn't going to bother trying to move it, and it was too much hassle with shipping and the fuck that noise. So when we got here, obviously, I then bought myself a, um, a PC on this side, started playing quite a bit. And that's when the missus actually mentioned that she wanted to get into playing some stuff because she used to play things like Soul Calibur when she was younger. So I was like, well, fuck it. So for her birthday, I actually went out and we took her to one of the shops over here and I bought her a PS5 and she's actually used it a lot more than I thought she was going to and I've indirectly played one or two things on it the story was good in Arceus yes it was I'm not going to disagree on that PlayStation 2 and 4 Besides the Switch, I've never owned any other Nintendo um, devices ever. Xbox One and Switch. Yeah, never owned an Xbox. Just need a moment to never had a GameCube, never had Nintendo, never had anything like that. Like the only other gaming device that I had was a Tamagotchi. But <laughs> that doesn't count. <laughs> to play Red Dead Redemption 2 and then postpone the release of it and I ended up never getting it and now you can in any case end up playing it on the PC so there's no fucking point what made me buy the PlayStation 3 something drove me oh I think it was Grand Theft Auto 4 I think Grand Theft Auto 4 was the reason why I bought the PlayStation 3. And then I hated it. one two three and then xbox one and realized pc was far superior it is superior for a reason 
but it also comes that I've noticed it comes with a lot more problems. I'm gonna get my eyes fucked up over here. Time to put no mana left. Steam Workshop, true, true. The Steam Workshop was one of like the biggest things I remember. It's the Steam Workshop. I love it, but it's also starting to piss me off. Like, okay, I'm gonna go on a bit of a rant, so let's hold up on the game for like two seconds. But the Steam Soap Workshop is starting to piss me off massively at the moment for two reasons. Right, let's say three reasons. First reason, it's the smallest of the reasons, and it's kind of why Steam existed. But the amount of fucking pointless, useless, small little overnight games that get posted onto Steam and clutter up potentially good games is insane. It's fucking irritating. Secondly, oh my god, if I have to read on one more game early access, I'm gonna shit myself. It's almost like a prelude to every game gets released unfinished so that we can get money so that we can develop it further and finally one day in the future release it as a version 1 full release. The problem that comes with this is you've got some games that end up being early access for 5, 6, 7 fucking years before it actually becomes a live version and that's bullshit in my opinion. I believe that if you want to be early access, Steam needs to have some kind of limit on it. It's like a year, year and a half max. If it doesn't go version one at that point, get the fuck off the site. And then the third and final reason, this is for me the absolutely biggest pet peeve that I've got. The reason why we all turned to Steam is because, first of all, a lot of computers nowadays don't even come with like um, disks, spaces for them. And the price... Because there was no manufacturing of discs, cases, or anything like that, and then transport costs included, because none of that existed and it was digital, the games used to be cheaper. The games used to be a lot cheaper than buying a hard copy. And you can obviously imagine why. There's no manufacturing of the case. There's no manufacturing of the um, disc. There's no transport fees and petrol costs and taxes involved for shipping and distribution fully understandable it's a digital copy that you buy so therefore it is cheaper that seems to be disappearing whether you buy a game in the shop or whether you buy a game on steam it ends up being the exact same price and this is a problem that is starting to show up in a lot of AAA titles perfect example have a look at diablo diablo 4 oh but actually fuck diablo 4 just any new AAA title that's coming out it costs almost exactly the same on steam as what it does in the shop and I don't understand why. And that was my uh, TED talk. Thank you for joining. Thank you. For freedom. Disgusting because I bought the physical copy of CS 1.6 and it literally just had the Steam download files on it. Yeah. I remember I never wanted to move on to Steam. I was always skeptical of it, but I remember when Skyrim released, and I'm talking about the first release, like, like day one release of Skyrim, you didn't have a choice because you had to download Steam so that you could download the files in order to play the game. 
and then since then it's been history. Wait, touching base on the price of games. We mentioned last night there was already one stupid developer who said that, oh, the Ubisoft developer, um, CEO, saying that Skull and Bones is a quadruple A title um, game. Wasn't there also one of these absolute retards that have got no idea what gamers actually want? Wasn't there one of them that also said that he wanted to start pricing the game based on hours it took to develop? Hold on, I need to double check my stats here before I give you false information. Um, Strauss Zelnik. Hold on, let's have a look at that. Yeah, CEO of Take Two um, Interactive. Okay, so he was sorry, 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 I misunderstood it. So he wasn't saying that. Um, he should we should he, they should be billing per hour of gameplay it's more so that he <laughs> he commented stating that gta 5's 80 hours of gameplay for 60 dollars is a good example so now the question is so the way i understand it is that he's stating that if you get let's say 80 hours out of a game it should fall within a bracket of let's say 60 to 70 dollars now what happens with games that you get 100 hours out of 150 hours, 200 hours. Maestro, remind us how many hours you've got in um, Path of Exile. 2,000? What happens when you get 2,000, 2,500, 10,000 hours out of a game? The fuck are they going to do then? Charge you like seven grand for the game. Yeah, $2,998. So technically, you should have paid about a thousand nine hundred. Let's say two thousand. Um, let's call it dollars. You should have paid two thousand dollars for Path of Exile because you're finding too much enjoyment out of the game. You should pay more for it. Just 
Maybe you should charge less for the games then. <laughs> no, because there's probably going to be one kid out there that plays the game for like 200 hours and then all of a sudden everybody else needs to pay that. It's, yeah. <laughs> there's some development companies that I've been asking myself for a while. I don't understand how their doors are still open. I honestly don't understand it. With the business practices they've got, with the decisions they've made within their communities, I don't understand how some of these companies still have their doors open. No, we're not going to grab that right now. Um, okay, we're going to move towards the maximum power charge. Oh yeah, the innocence fight, innocence fight is going to suck balls, 100%. Uh, maybe you should charge this for care. I can understand, and it's fully, it's fully acceptable for a developer to go, okay, you know what, we had a flop. Not, there's not a single developer out there in the world that can say every single game that they've ever released has been successes. No ways. They, there should kind of be a percentage that you strive for. Like, hey, like 70% of the games that we make are good. We apologize that three or four or five games sucked. We thought we had a plan. We thought we budgeted and planned correctly. It just failed. Or it didn't quite come together as we thought it did. Or the community didn't receive it how we thought we did. I get it. A fail here and there is okay. But if you're... If the name of your company is synonymous with a failed development or the failed developer, like at that point, you should already start asking yourself, like, are we not a bit too late? I mean, think about it. Every single time that Bethesda or Ubisoft or any one of those, like, shitty companies... Every time they announce that they are going to be working on a game or doing a game, a what's your initial response? Yeah, let's see. Let's see how you fuck this up even more. JJ fell asleep, Maestro.
is he a big Liverpool supporter? Fuck now for the Ingerson's fight. This is going to be lovely. Before I start this fight, I actually was a bit confused last night because I got the notification that JJ streamed, but no notification popped up on the screen. Want some traps? Hells yes, you can come join me. I'd appreciate that. No notification popped up on the stream, so I'm wondering if my alerts are working or not. They should be on. Hold on, let me check something quickly. Alerts. There they are. Okay. I'm going to run a quick test. I'm just going to do the uh, send test alert. Okay, so it worked. Don't know why it didn't pop up last night. That's really random. But yeah, then I also noticed, like, it didn't change from 10 to 11. Yeah, somebody unfollowed, and then he followed. <laughs> I must have just missed it completely. I might have just been staring at my screen and didn't actually notice it. Oh, yeah, well, it's good to know that it actually still works. All right. I'm just going to stand in the corner because you're probably going to have all of this on your own. Okay, seriously, no jokes. I need to get this bolt from you. Because this looks like a fuck that of Like, this looks fun. Did you die? some weird lag spikes no it's not good well have you seen what the fuck you're doing to the screen so i can understand why you're having lag spikes good sir what in damn it destroyed it
Send me a screenshot. Ooh, okay, let's have a look. Uh. Yeah, I, I can imagine. I can definitely imagine you had that lag spike. I mean, have you seen what the fuck you do to the screen? Like when you start your shit, everything starts bouncing around. I wasn't paying attention to see what my um, uh, PS counter was at that point. But I can imagine you had an effect on my, <laughs> my frames as well. Just need a moment to Yeah, once again, I don't think it was a, a performance issue or anything like that. I think it was this just at that moment. Yeah, fuck knows, it might have been a sort of a thing as well. Seconds, just one check something. Is that a boat that you created or are you following a god? Never been a chapel. No, fair enough, sorry. Come on, I thought with your infinite wisdom and non infinite came to this game, you'd know how to create an OP character, OP port from scratch. Come on, Maestro, I expected more. <laughs>
You see, I think that's like one of the differences. I don't need something OP. I just want something that's fun. Something that looks cool and can do the job as well. So, looks cool, clears a room, fucks up everything, and... Yeah. Like, that's all I want out of a boat. I just need it to be fun. For freedom. Simply can't. Farewell. We're glad. Lani's innocent. Hello. Yeah, so I finally got that. Um, ooh, what did I do? I moved something. Oops. Okay. So I finally got that. I think we're gonna we're gonna ignore things further down, and we're just gonna keep moving up towards the damage and at some point I probably need to think about getting the um true my man guess what I just realized I'm on act 5 and I haven't Touch the ascendancy trial yet. This is potentially something that we actually need to do. The goddess is watching. Oh, yeah, no, definitely. This is the first Ascendancy Troll. This is the first one. I never did the first one. <laughs> I'm on level 46 and I haven't even done the first Ascendancy Troll yet. I think that should be good. I can always... You can always join me if you want to. I can always exit and come back. Forget or just weren't faced with it. The weary traveler draws close to the end of the path. Some things that slumber should never be awoken. I got carried away. <laughs> And that right there, that is what you want from a build. You want, especially when leveling, you want to feel like you don't want to slow down. You don't want to step away. You don't want to feel like it's a chore. It's a fucking nightmare to enjoy that build. The moment that happens, it's not worth it. And that was the issue that I had with the Cobra Lash build. It started feeling too much like a grind to try and figure out. Trying to figure out what the next steps were. It just wasn't pleasant anymore. Uh, you have to try one with nothing leveling strat at some point. Wait, 
provides more clarity on that. What the fuck do you mean? Oh, the one with mapping livings that makes my campaign so much more fun. Ooh. That's with that one. Um, that's with that one. Uh, fuck, what the hell is that gym called you keep using? That bases itself with dexterity. Are you referring? Are you referencing that? Just need a moment. Welcome back, JJ. Yeah, I don't have mage blood. Remember, my ass is poor. Why is that thing so tanky? It's in level 33 area. Yeah. Another shot. Uh, yes, one with nothing. I need to try that. That would actually be a lot of fun. How was the rest of the game, JJ? Is the match over or are you still watching? Sky Sports or but listening though. We won which is good. Hey, that's nice. Arsenal's playing really bad. Just need a moment to catch my breath. strikes without hesitation to entertain doubt is to dance with death is Arsenal and Liverpool currently sitting on the log an emperor is only as efficient as those he commands
one of your lessons was completed, Ascendant. Okay, need to find one more room and I'm done with this shit. Ah, for this build, Lysha, you know which part of the Ascendancy tree we're actually choosing Just first. Need a moment to catch my breath. Uh, I'm trying my hardest. Yeah, you're talking about the um <laughs> the fact that I basically like chilled inside that spinning death doom fucking disc thing, the trap. Yeah. Step ahead. I don't know what that does, but I'll definitely have a look when I get there, see what it is. Yeah, no, that's gonna be a fucking waste. Uh, how am I fucking this? Come on. That's the one that I want. Thank you. An aspirant yeah, that's definitely gonna be what promises. I want. Because my An shit's slow. Must keep those promises. The Empire awaits you with open jaws.
Uh, anything else that I want for me, I'll take the bone arm with the circlet. The rest of the shit's too big. I want one key, that's bullshit. And uh, Jade Flask, Flask is a good pickup. Yeah. Okay. Maestro, you know the drill. Before your emperor. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The goddess nine, of ten. justice. You are worthy. Receive our blessings. Embrace our gifts. And rise ascendant. For this is the ending that we all not bad. Serve. Well, fuck. <laughs> Um, do I have a random blue gem lying around somewhere? I do. You're a fine plan. Okay. What are we hoping for? What are we hoping for? Roll number one. Forbidden Rite of Soul Sacrifice. Ice Nova of Frostbolts. And Destroyer of Misery. Anything good? Sports Ice Nova thirty five C. Okay, my man. You just start talking in full sentences. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was the Ice Nobel Frostbolt. Let's uh, put this over here. I can almost use that, but then I need to start balancing my intelligence. That tells for 35C. Nice. Okay, so I know we're going tricks then. Um, Everyone knows how to die. And then you Some said we should go for to get them one step ahead. Uh, Swift, one step ahead. Okay, so increased evasion, max energy shield, and 4% increased attack and cost speed. Action speed is at least 108% of base value. Nearby enemies and monsters, action speed is most... Okay. Nice. Uh, where was I? What was I busy with? Go sell some shit. Yes? Hold up. I found a unique ring. Mock of submission. Yeah. Curse enemies with socketed hex curse gem on hit. Doesn't seem bad. Uh, let's go to my uniques. Double for the rest of my uniques. Okay, so let's have a look. So I'm level 46. I still need to go a couple of levels before I can start using this. That's 59. Okay, never mind. I've got a while to go before I can use that. I forgot I was collecting a whole bunch of uniques here as well. Let me just move them to the right place quickly. Oh. Oh. 
I did not know I had these boots. Lightning resistance, movement speed, duration of lightning ailments, 25. I should be using these boots, right? Sometimes a good thing just to check what you've actually got. I fucking forgot that I actually had some Helix saved up on this one. Oh, that's already so much better. Nice. Oh yeah, where was I? I was in the town square. I don't know if it was these boots that added all that lightning damage, but it feels like I'm hitting a lot harder. And I'm a lot fucking faster now, which I like. corner then I'll have a look at what you think me. Okay, quite a corner. And I log in six sockets, eighty percent attributes. Oh shit. So a full inventory of unique rings, you get the armor. Okay, we've got something to work towards. Don't know what the chances are of finding so many fucking rings, but. It's not that way. I think I missed it. I think it was one further up to the right. Nope, was a mess. Then it's one down. You've got nothing further for me. Yeah, this definitely feels better. And I don't know what I changed. And I'm seriously wondering if just a pair of boots made such a big difference. Just need a moment.
Uh, fuck, now I've got to run to all the corners on this map. It's not important to me, but baby. You have an idea. Ooh, okay. You just find something in your stash that I know you could use. It's not part of the Oh, but it's better. I'm down. I'm down for improvements. Level 54. Fuck. 25% uh, increase projectile damage and projectiles deal 35% increase damage with hits against nearby enemies. Repeat 30% uh, increase projectile. Yeah, that would be very nice. That would be very, very, very fucking nice. I'm level 46. start working our way further up i'm ignoring some of this shit down here for now yeah like i've completely ignored this accuracy rating critical strike chance like what is my critical strike we haven't switched over to critical yet right yeah critical strike chance is seven percent now fuck that mercy so I'm not going to bother trying to get those notes just yet. I'll come back for them. I think for now. So these are actually going to be a. A damage boost for me. Got gym slots. Got that. Oh, well, fuck me then. Okay. Let's go that way. My logic is always, if everything dies fast enough, like you don't have to worry too much about health, <laughs> but that's making sure you've got the damage to actually make sure that everything dies. Okay, I think I've got everything now. And I need to find the entrance to the Osiri. Mm. 
So what time do you start working tomorrow, man? Not all. I don't think I need to be doing that right now. Okay, so that is seven to four. Day fifty-five. Eh, small jump, but it's still jump. One p.m. Oh, well, that's fucking nice. You actually get to sleep nice and late. So you work from one until ten. So what? That's uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven. A nine hour. That's a sort of a normal nine hour day. And yes, for some stupid reason, I just had to do maths to go from 1 p.m. to 10 p.m. Don't judge me. I'm like embarrassed for myself that I just had to count that out. The high priest. Good luck out there. Hello. For freedom. What am I looking for? I'm looking for that and that. Cool. JJ, are you at least happy that it's an improvement on last night? Dying every 10 seconds. I'm gonna try one of these mirrors and see if it works. Definitely starting to feel a lot better, that's for sure. I'm actually starting to enjoy the bump, and we're only, what, 50 levels in? Okay, now we're looking for the rooftop. Rooftop should be easy. I found that already.
Ooh, hold on, Maestro. What do you think the fight on the roof is going to be like? Kitova. fun and watch me struggle or do you think it's actually gonna be fun Already wishing me misfortune. At least we can see that the officially see that the gold has become stronger. Which I'm glad with. Alright, good good a team, thank you. Unfortunately there's no cure for stupidity. That's all on me. I thought I could um, blink through that. That was that was my own fault. I'm not blaming that on the ball or anything. Two deaths. I call bullshit on that last one. I call bullshit on that last one. Okay, so what are we on? Five? That would that would have been my own fault because I ran into it. Yeah, I think it's like five.
<laughs> I killed myself there. <laughs> oh, come on. Okay, at this point, this is getting ridiculous. <laughs> okay. So I'm not even like a quarter of the way through the health that I need to be out oh, for fuck's sakes. This is fun. Can you clip that last one for me and see if that actually hit me? Because I was still trying to run between the two of them and Alpha. Fuck off. All the deaths. Please tell me that's the fucking fight over. Are you done? Are you big and red? Yeah, you're big and red. Fight's over. I think that was six. Six absolute failed fucking attempts of killing this dude. The flame of hope may flicker, but it cannot be extinguished. Oh, congratulations. You earned the... Uh Night Lotus Boots. The branch of the boots will improve as you complete 26 challenges. So what? There is no shame in falling. Stop that. C, O, E, O, B, O. Do I like him? Do I not like him? Not oh, bad looking boots, actually. I'm Captain Lily. Remember, this ain't the Maestro. How painful was that to watch? All right. Don't think. I'm Especially the fact that three of those kills was like 100% my own fault. I'm tired. Wait. I don't think I need to redo. Despite your best effort, farewell.
almost one random person somewhere in the corner. when that happens like I need one person I think I need one person or just a small little group somewhere yeah they are Welcome back, good sir. I don't think I need to be doing that right now. We're consistently hitting that five viewers now. How many days did you end on? I think it was five. Five or six that were like uh, when you said you lost count, that was the last time I died. Now it is. Oh, what I wanted to mention, we're now consistently Person actually, I see we actually get into like 4 or 5 viewers and then you turn pretty often, but Doesn't take a scholar to work out how these I want to test the theory quickly. I don't know what's going on out there, and I probably wouldn't understand it if I saw it with my own two eyes. Ness? I think there might not be a true reflection of how many is actually yeah, well. in there. I think I might have been fucking with the stats a little bit. Let's see if it changes down. If it drops down to 2 now, then we know what the issue is. Because I think it's only you and JJ in the in here right now. While you be skulking about, time and tide wait for no man. Okay, so it's still staying four viewers. Give it a second just to update because I don't know how live that thing is. better your resistance is now um, they not 75 76 and 75 I think that's all thanks to the lovely gear that you gave me There's only two people now that I've joined there with three people in. I had my own stream open in the background to be able to see certain things. But that's only representing three. Oh. Yeah, that's only representing three thing. Um Yeah. So that number in the top left is wrong. It takes that number quite a while to update by the looks of it. So there's only three people. There was only no, there's only two people in there, so it's you and um JJ that's in there. So I don't even think it was a true reflection the other night when we hit five. Fuck. Oh well. It will grow. 
and has to. You see, now the counter rolled down back to down to two. So now it's a true reflection of how many people are actually in yeah? Because I closed off my stream. step on the list is say the accuracy mastery so we want uh, what do you want plus 500 to accuracy rating minus to accuracy per level okay So that was going to be quite a bit. I'm actually enjoying this now. The build's coming along a lot better now. Mm, not looking forward to this fight. Let me teach you the laws of war. Just need a moment to catch my
Actually, went a lot better than what I thought it was going to. The soil wants for your blood no more. Uh, nope. Oh, you want this fucker? Let's use it. It's there. Uh, Maestro, do you have access to that one gem that I'm missing? So I'm missing Mock on Head. And then Vol Discipline and Vol Grace. Well, Grace and Discipline, because I don't think I've got them. Do I? Okay, well, grace and discipline. So don't worry about the, like, vol aspect of it, or don't worry about grace and discipline at all. Oh, fuck, yeah, sorry. I keep forgetting that when you reach this act, you actually got access to really. My apologies, man. My apologies. Good Promise I'm gonna complete the job. Uh, Grace, I'm never gonna have the mana for that. Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? We'll check it. And then. Give me that one. Discipline is blue. Additional energy shield, evasion, quad grab, and then I need mark on it. Mark on hit support. So that goes there. Now we need to put grace, because I don't have the colors, so let's just do this. Let's do discipline. I'll come and touch base on everything last night. Okay, so I've got every single skill gem that I need. Nice. Uh, just take that because I'm going to mess up regardless. Oh, wrong button. Okay, that was done. So we finished off that. Now, so now we've got to move to the next section. So now we're going to start going up. And done that. We've done that. What is this mode? Mastery. Marked enemies cannot regenerate life. Oh, I never actually got the center part of this. Now, you see, there's no point for me to grab this right now because I don't have the jewel to be able to put it in there. So I'm not going to waste an upload on that until I've actually got the jewel. So I think next is either to go for evasion. Go shroud. Or do I want to start going for the lightning damage? Or do I want to backtrack to something down here? I'm not really missing anything down here. Yeah, got that, got that, got that, got that. Got 
one of those up into the yep I'm not gonna start going upwards Now that should open, I can run to the top. Very little reservations. Um, I need to maybe think, maybe at this point, start thinking about going back to manor reservations, especially now that I've got the discipline and the grace that I'm going to potentially want to use. The skill can't be used. Why can't the skill be used? When you hit a real unique enemy. Oh, okay, so it automatically. Okay. Fair enough, so I can just as well take that, put it over there, put it over there, get rid of that. Yeah. Uh, I did the one thing that you're always telling me to do. I read. I should pay attention to what the fuck the thing does. Energy shield and increased energy shield charge rate. It's not exact. Oh, it's a hundred. Okay. I'll start going into that the moment I've got charisma. Because right now the manor reservations is abysmal. Don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. Three thousand two hundred. Okay, I'm gonna run away for two seconds. We're gonna do that, we're gonna come back down over here. 
Stuck, I'm stuck. Thank you. How's your bolt going? Splits. Welcome. How are you doing, TV? Working on my build. Which build? This build or the next potential build? All the pieces I need. Is that for after the crit swap or this build? Oh, so that's for the winner we do the crit swap, right? There's no quest option. What the? Got all the pieces for you to set the body on. Okay. Is this the switch that we are doing at. Well, later after the campaign? What am I missing? Where am I supposed to be going? Oh, up there. Oh, sorry. Elbow tells you to get a replica hero's eye for damage, but I prefer the tankiness of Shadow Switches personally. Yeah, I've I've dealt with the um the shit of being squishy in the beginning of this run. Um I ain't looking to deal with a glass cannon again. Uh Z Frost, I hope you still having a good evening. I hope you enjoy the stream. The damage should be enough for T60 maps without any issues. Well, that's good. Either way. No, I'm excited. Um, does that switch happen? Um, is there a cap to the um, levels that we want before we do that swap? Or are we going to do it after the uh, campaign? Or can we go for like a 64? because I'm stupid. I'm going to require 69. Okay, so there's a minimum. Very 
the earliest. Okay. All that I have for, for 69. It just happens to be the most. <laughs> I'm not even gonna comment on the number. Okay, so we have got 19 levels to go. So yeah, good night. Hope you're enjoying the stream. And what are you up to this evening? Are you currently also playing Path of Exile or are you busy with something else? Well, you've come to a very good place to learn then. And when I say learn, I do not mean by me. <laughs> I'm in the same process of learning quite a lot about this game. I had an idea. I had a rough understanding of what gets done. But the, the deeper mechanics, this lovely gentleman in chat, Maestro, he's my resident expert. Yeah, I might be shit at the game, but I'm not that shit. <laughs> Ooh, nice. I have never done a tier 8 level 88. Very nice. It's a little bit weak here, so I'm scared to go any higher. Now, what's the worst that's gonna happen? You die? <laughs> I am no. Death is not an uh, uh, unknown concept to me. Especially when I don't read the map modifiers and I run in there with reflect damage and I get fucked up. No, I agree, Maestro. With the SRS build that um, took to maps, I only felt comfortable with the SRS build, I think, up to tier 9, tier 10 maps. Anything beyond that, it was I didn't enjoy it. The Tornado Shot build that we took there, I was comfortable on T16 maps, um, but also with certain modifiers. But, yeah. Just run the, the maps that you're comfy with. It's a blue harder kill than yellow. What the fuck's going on here? Thank you. If you want to learn, ask Master. If you want to die a lot, ask either. I feel like I'm being personally attacked right now.
that's fucked up. Listen, yeah, as with all true um, experts and masters in their field, there has to be a certain amount of testing that takes place to, you know, see if it's viable or not. So, <laughs> but let me guess, where was he dying? He wasn't dying like in the acts, like I did in the first three acts of this game, um, of this run, because this build sucks and you actually level it up a bit. Let me guess, he was dying on like uber bosses, right? Did you read the chat? <laughs> uh, you were fighting normal sirs, not uber sirs. Still, you were bossing. It's not like my damage like just died to this thing because I'm just reading the chat. Streets like big. See, twice. I'm dying to normal fucking shit in the storyline. This world is dull and ugly, an imperfect feast of sights, feelings, and smells that repulse and depress. Yet amongst this deformity, I have found my sublime... This waypoint coming up. Yep. This world may be abominable. Okay, I'm going to the waypoint. Point. What are we doing? What are we doing? Savior. I have been gifted with a special... I don't sight. think I need to be doing that. For me right lies now. a blueprint of perfection. Okay, what are you going to... Just give me a second. Let me just get rid of the stuff that I've got. Tendons and organs. Who'd have thought that? So then trade me. Uh, stand still. I don't think I need to be doing that right now. Boom, 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 boom. Fucking hell. Hey, right, let's have a look at what the fuck he just did to me. It's not min maxed. No, it's okay. Is having minimum number of durance charges. 
I'm going to switch over to these boots right now. I'm going to lose a little bit of increased movement speed, but the cold resistance, the chaos resistance, and then the endurance charges, friendly charges, and power charges. That's going to be a definitely a win. And then the rest of them I'm going to have to hold off on until we... Those boots top corner, this goes there, this goes there. This is all getting me ready for when I can switch over to it. The rings are quite good. Alright, so let's compare the previous ring. So, increased aura effect, attributes, increased damage, rarity of items found, and elemental resistances. Yeah. Okay, I'll take the corrupted one. And then that's going to be a flat increase, so let's do that. Let's put this with the rest of my uniques. Uh, do you want this Lahoop back? And I don't know where the Wildwood is. This Lahoop that you gave me, do you want this one back? Because I'm not using this one, because I got the only one that you gave me. The corrupted one. Ah. Ah, strength. Okay, my strength has plummeted. Okay, I'll hold on to it. Okay, let's have a look. Yeah, my strength is appalling. It's on 76. I need a minimum of 96. Yeah, I was just about to say, I don't think I need it right now, especially with the fact that I'm out damaging 3,700 base and... Yeah. Uh, where was I? Good work. With the road to the Frisian Skywell. Welcome. Uh, let's keep the immortal core and sell that. Stay sharp out there. Nope. Hang on to this for now. Thank you very much, Masha. I appreciate it as always, man. No. Everything you gave me, I put inside, yeah. No, there it is there. Are you talking about this tool? No, you're fucking joking. <laughs> I did not see the other gem. I literally just saw this jewel. The cluster. I was convinced that everything you gave me, I moved into here. I am so sorry. I was convinced this was the only tool you gave me. Oh fuck, I feel like a retard. I feel like an absolute idiot. Sorry about that, man. Do I want to know how expensive it was? Or am I just going to cry if I do? ATC. That's, that's still fucking expensive. Dude, if that thing was a divine, I'm gonna cry. 
Okay, I know you've got like 500, but still. Frost, that's why I'm an idiot, and that's why they keep teasing me. Ah, <laughs> oh, sorry, you actually want to give it to me. <laughs> I'll be there now and I will try my hardest not to, I promise. Sorry about that one. At last you will thirst. Good soul. Uh big nice now. I'm going about that. Okay. I don't think I need to be doing that right now. Yo. I'm back in town and you see I've even got a skill point ready to make sure that I unlock the jewel socket in order to put the jewel into Why does this person look like the, the ebony warrior from Skyrim? Thank you very much, good sir. And wait, wait, wait. I promise. We're going to take it. It's in. I can't sell it now. <laughs> Thank you very much, good sir. I do appreciate it yet again. And I, sorry, I, I really feel shitty about selling the previous one. Listen, yeah, JJ. I've only got so many followers. I cannot afford to start pissing off anybody. <laughs> I'm trying to hold on to the very few that I do have. I'm trying to grow the community, not cull them.
And yes, for those of you that, not, that does not understand what just happened, I was just threatened. <laughs> just need a moment to catch my breath. What are you doing? Don't drag me to damnation if you're gonna stop. Am I missing something? Mm. Wait, am I missing something? Where am I supposed to go? Ah, I misplaced the road a while ago. There we go. Found it. I keep getting a message that pops up saying, Welcome to the chat room, like somebody's joined. I don't know if it's a message saying that somebody's joined the chat or if it's just having a moment because it just went past midnight for me. No, I don't know. JJ, you're like the last one to speak about internet, good sir. Like, if I have to make a phone call right now, your internet's probably gonna shit itself. <laughs> Yeah, this probe is going a lot better. Compared to how it started. Yeah, and I can actually finally get this one back. And that means I should be able to finally run discipline now. Yep, 
can finally run discipline with there being enough of a reservation that it is viable to use. JJ. Uh, no skill point? What do you mean? Oh, did I miss something again? the puppet mistress riverways right yes she was i'll backtrack to her now Grab the waypoint and then you can go back to the rubber ways. Grab the skill point. Sorry. That's not fun. Okay, let's see if it was worth it. Alright, so we've got a tool job. Uh, increase critical strike zones. It's not actually why I was here. I'm actually here for a reason.
Ah, ein Duster. Oh Gott. Would you give me life loss can three charges every three seconds if you haven't used them? Yep, I'll take that. As compared to what I've got available, that's a better option. Oh, you forgot a belt. More presents. Another damn god. Okay, so we finally finished off that. I just want to have a look at the bolt. Okay, so we don't need anything in there. We've got that. We've got that. We've got all those. Okay, so we can continue to move up this way. Uh, we've got those three. I just didn't grab the center mark. I'm not worried about that right now. We've got that already. Next move is... Evasion. No, I'm going to ignore that for now. I'm going to go there. Apply that, and then the next move will be intelligence down to the lightning damage. I'll come to this island first. Wait, where are you at right now? God damn, bro. Thank you very much. Now I've got to leave so I don't accidentally do something stupid like I did last time. Okay, let's have a look at what this bolt looks like. So first and foremost... 15 standard block recovery, 82% maximum energy shield, 16% increased max manima. Manima? Manima. Manima. What the fuck is a manima? Um, 16. Oh my god, English. 46% to lightning resistance, maximum power charges. Minimum power charges instead of applied to minimum absorption charges. Can gain absorption charges instead of power charges. Hmm. What's English? Dude. But the worst part is my first language is actually English, and then sometimes it's just a lot of fire. Where did I put all the stuff? Yeah, I Not right now. Uh, we'll keep that just in case. Sell that, sell that. Just dump this over there. I just realized the mistake that I made again, like always, because I'm an absolute idiot. I'm not paying attention. That should be there. I'm gonna blame it on pressure. JJ, I'm gonna blame it on pressure. You know when you're trying to like actually articulate the sentence because you've got people watching you and then the harder you try the more you fuck it up and then when you try to look smart you just end up looking like an idiot yep pressure hey i'm gonna let you guys have your lovers quarrel I, I, i'm not blaming it on anybody <laughs> I said, you guys have your lover's quarrel? <laughs> now we evens. <laughs> okay, so the question is, Maestro, you blame JJ. JJ, you blame Maestro. Who the hell blames a Z-Frost? <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna blame Z-Frost.
he's new so there's pressure that I have to leave an impression so that he can return to future streams <laughs> no I, I'm blaming him because he's new Z Frost is new so because he's new there's a lot of pressure on me to try and make sure that the content is good enough for him to return in the future that's why my English is like going to shit How could you? Yeah, I know I'm a horrible human being. I apologize. This build is going a lot better than what I did. I appreciate it, Master. It shows you how much decent, like, yeah, it does for a build. And that's got very little to do with the actual character and the skill that you're using, and more so with the gear that you've got supporting the build. Just need a moment to catch my. Actually, at the most boring part of this game. I'm gonna die. One more to do. Just one more. We 
can finally start going into some more. I didn't damage the currently it's sitting at because I'm smart and I know how to do maths. Seven thousand three hundred, nice. Let's light the beacon. I think let's finish off this last fight and then we'll call it a night. Let's kill this dude. Oh, actually. Actually, no. I think that's where I'm going to call it for the evening. I'll do the last fight tomorrow. Or do you want me to do it now quickly? It's literally the last fight of the act and then we go on to act 7. All right. Quickly knock out this last boss fight, and then Just need a moment. all depends on how quickly I can get to that actual fight. Okay, I'm probably running the wrong direction at this point. Nope. Don't think so. I'm gonna be very pissed off it was in the top right hand corner and I missed it completely. I know, it's a horrible- oh, I found it. Okay, cool. Nice, that wasn't too horrible. We actually found it relatively quickly. So strong. So dedicated. A man like thee would never disappoint a lady in need. You're a gift, don't you see? And now she's gonna get eaten. A feast for his majesty on his wedding day. Really. We are both so touched by your generosity. No. Okay, last phase of the fight. And that's gonna happen in this enclosed area. Yay. Very nice. Easy peasy. Well, I wonder why it's easy peasy. Have you seen the shit I'm currently wearing? And I wonder where I got that. Thanks, Meister. You're a legend, good sir. And thus, uh, what do we have here? Cannot be stunned if you're being stunned or blocked. Stunning. Yep, I'm gonna go for that one. Because well, it's the only one I've got for now. How did you? The total damage is saying 7,513. It's about a 4,000 um, jump since... Um, yeah, it's about a 4,000 DPS jump since... 
maybe like an act and a half ago when I was still busy struggling with the damage. The boots alone made quite a bit of a difference. And then, yeah, because remember, the damage made a big difference when I threw on the boots that I had. And then when I equipped your boots plus the rings that you gave me. Yeah, it made quite a bit of a difference. And then, of course, like logic, once we got the basic um, jewel, now also starting to go into the um, added lightning damage and getting these crit things like there's been a steady increase but a big power jump took place when i got the rings and the boots from you what'll i do now bear with me yeah no i don't think i need to be doing that right now keep your witches you'll do well I'm afraid that the Inquisitors. Alright, so let's quickly sell Greetings. off all the shit. Uh, sell, 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 sell. I'm gonna keep the flask. Accept. Go with courage. Hello. Uh, back all this shit away. You should be linked to the chest, but okay, I'm just gonna put you there for now. And you can also just be put uh, there for now. Along with that, and along with that, and then you can be put there. So those I still need to equip when we go. That one's not part of it. Okay, I've actually got the level to be able to equip the jewel cluster. So that means good sir. Hold on, let me just see what you do. Um, the nice thing about the build is that you're not going to have any gems in your body armor and boots. But for that to work, you need to do the wild wood and find a person in there. I think it's the warden of the Maji. Okay. We can focus on that tomorrow night. I think that's... No, 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 not tomorrow night. Because tomorrow night we are making sure that JJ gets his stream. We are going to do hypercharged. So I think that is something we can touch base on on Saturday. We can see how we can get to the Wildwood. Because that I've never been to. I can honestly admit. Never been there before. But before we go, let's quickly do this. Because I've now got this jewel. So this jewel. Are we going to put this medium cluster jewel inside here? Nope, never mind. That's a large cluster jewel socket. Can it even fit there? Okay. Is that something we want to do or not? Yes, done and dusted. Okay. So now we've got the next point to level into. Awesome. Okay, so there was quite a bit of progress made this evening. I do think, I think from where we ended off last night, JJ, to where we made it today, quite a bit of an increase. So I'm happy. So on that, I'm going to do the normal spiel. Thank you very much for everybody who joined the live stream. I really do appreciate it. Having people in chat is actually very, very nice. Having somebody to chat with, talk shit with, and interact with is very, very nice. Thank you to all the new um, viewers that popped in. If you enjoyed it, think about giving me a follow. And also, f if you don't know, all of my previous post live streams um, do get posted onto my YouTube channel. So go and subscribe for there for me as well. But until then, I hope you all have a lovely evening and or day further, depending on where you're from. And look after yourselves and be safe. Aitram, you're always welcome, man. Whenever I'm streaming, you're always welcome to pop in. So I'll see you guys then. Look after yourselves.